الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما وقال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم فأشارت إليه قالوا كيف نكلم من كان في المهد صبيا قال إني عبد الله آتاني الكتاب وجعلني نبيا وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا وبرا بوالدتي ولم يجعلني جبارا شطيا وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم أنا أولى الناس بعيسى بن مريم في الأولى والآخرة قالوا كيف يا رسول الله قال أنبياء إخوة من علات وأمهاتهم شتا دينهم واحد فليس بيننا نبي صدق الله العظيم Dear respected brothers and sisters in Islam, I greet you with the best greeting. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. May peace, Allah's mercy, and Allah's blessing be upon you. We express gratitude to Allah. We praise and thank Allah. We ask for His assistance and we seek His forgiveness and pardon. We believe in Him and we rely upon Him alone. We ask Allah to save us from the evils of ourselves and from the evils of our action. Whom Allah guides, none can misguide, and whom He makes astray, no one can lead him back to the right path. We bear witness that there is none worthy of worship except Allah, and we bear witness that Prophet Muhammad is his slave and messenger. Allah, the most glorified, the most high, tells us in the Quran, be mindful of Allah, and Allah will teach you, and He has full knowledge of everything. So today, inshallah, we will be speaking about two people who loved Allah. The greatest love, the greatest love is the love of Allah. And the greatest knowledge is the knowledge of the oneness of Allah. Today, we will be speaking about Jesus, may peace be upon him. And we will speak about Virgin Mary, may peace be upon her. In the Quran, Allah addresses them as Isa and Maryam. So those are the names we will be using. In today's khutbah, we will celebrate his birth, his sayings, and his story. Looking around in Cambridge, one can tell this is a festive time for some of our neighbors. Naturally, some questions may pop into our or our children's mind. Questions such as, who is Isa ibn Maryam? May peace and blessings be upon him. What did he preach and what does he mean to Muslims? Before we discuss Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him, let's learn about his mother. What are some questions that come to mind when we speak about Maryam? May peace and blessings be upon her. Let's start with who was she? As mentioned in Surah Maryam, she was from a noble lineage. It is not notable that an entire chapter in the Quran is named after her, Surah Maryam. Maryam is the only woman to be ref referred by her first name in the Quran. And this honorable status is granted by the Quran to only a few, mostly prophets, messengers, and angels. So what do we mean when we say she is from a noble lineage? Her father was a prophet, Imran, may peace and blessings be upon him. Her caretaker was a prophet, Zakaria, may peace and blessings be upon him. And her son was a prophet, Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him. What was she like? Was she an exemplary person? Should our daughters, sisters, and mothers take her as a role model? When Allah gives examples, He mentions Mary, Maryam. 
he, he mentions Mary, may peace and blessings be upon her. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, وَمَرْيَمَ بْنَةَ عِمْرَانَ الَّتِي أَحْصَنَتْ فَرْجَهَا فَنَفَخْنَا فِيهِ مِنْ رُوحِنَا وَصَدَّقَتْ بِكَلِمَاتِ رَبِّهَا وَكُتُبِهِ وَكَانَتْ مِنَ الْقَانِتِينَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Qur'an, there's also the example of Maryam, the daughter of Imran, who guarded her chastity. So we breathe into her womb through our angel Jibra'il, Gabriel, and she testified to the words of her Lord and his scriptures and was one of the sincerely devout. So here we see that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala confirms her faith, her piety, and her chastity. How can we not honor, remember, and celebrate such a remarkable human being? Not only has she been re regarded as an exemplary human being, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has honored her above all women. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us in the Quran, وَإِذْ قَالَتِ الْمَلَائِكَةُ يَا مَرْيَمُ إِنَّ اللَّهَ اصْطَفَاكِ وَطَهَّرَكِ وَاصْطَفَاكِ عَلَى نِسَاءِ الْعَالَمِينَ Allah says in the Quran, and remember when the angel said, O Maryam, surely Allah has selected you purified you and chosen you over all the women of the world. What a tremendous honor. Now let's discuss her birth. Her mother, the wife of Imran, may peace and blessings be upon him, made a vow to dedicate her child to the service of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. She gave her a good name, prayed for her and entrusted Prophet Zakaria alayhi salam with her upbringing and care. When Zakaria, may peace and blessings be upon him, visited her in the sanctuary, he found her supplied with provisions. He exclaimed, O Maryam, where did this come from? قالت هو من عند الله إن الله يرزق من يشاء بغير حساب. She replied, It is from Allah. Surely Allah provides from whom He wills without limit. Here we see three remarkable things. Her faith in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah providing her with provisions and the positive effect of her parents' supplications. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us, قَالَ النَّبِيُّ sallallahu alayhi wa sallam ثَلَاثُ دَعَوَاتٍ مُسْتَجَابَاتٍ دَعْوَةُ الْمَظْلُومِ وَدَعْوَةُ الْمُسَافِرِ وَدَعْوَةُ الْوَالِدِ عَلَى وَلَدِهِ Our Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, may peace and blessings be upon him, said, there are three supplications which are always answered. The supplication of the person who is wronged, the supplication of the traveler, and the supplication of a parent for his child. So we seek Allah's help. We seek his mercy and we seek his protection in the upbringing of our children, just as Maryam's mother sought protection for her child. This is a moment for the females of our ummah to appreciate this beautiful soul, to appreciate the beautiful qualities of Maryam. May peace and blessings be upon her and ask ourselves, how can we embody these qualities? Now that we have a brief understanding of what the Qur'an tells us about Maryam, may peace and blessings be upon him, upon her, let's transition to Isa ibn Maryam. Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him. We look at his life through his birth as described in the Qur'an. His miraculous virgin birth detailed in Surah Maryam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Qur'an, وَذْكُرْ فِي الْكِتَابِ Maryam." O Prophet, mention in the book the story of Maryam. So the story goes that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent Angel Jibra'il to give her glad tidings of a pure son. She says, how can this be? Her surprise is understandable as she was pure and pious. The angels replied, the angel Jibra'il alayhi salam replied, قَالَ كَذَلِكَ قَالَ رَبُّكَ هُوَ عَلَيَّ هَيِّنْ وَلِنَجْعَلَهُ آيَةً لِلنَّاسِ وَرَحْمَةً مِنَّا وَكَانَ أَمَرًا مَقْضِيًّا Jibreel alayhi salam replied, so will it be, your Lord says, it is easy for me. When Allah decides for a matter to be, He says for it to be, and it becomes. Kun fayakun. And Jibreel alayhi salam says that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, and so we will make him a sign for humanity and mercy from us. It is a matter already decreed. So Maryam alayhi salam conceived and she withdrew with him to a remote place, and the pains of labor drove her to the trunk of a palm tree. Allah provided a stream at her feet, 
and fresh ripe dates and put her heart at ease. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, فَكُلِي وَاشْرَبِي وَقَرِّي عَيْنًا So eat and drink and put your heart at ease. Now she is to return to her people with her baby. Naturally she is worried and concerned about what people will say. By Allah's command, she takes a vow of silence. When she returned to her people, they questioned her integrity. They accused her of a horrible thing. They said, your parents were good people. What have you done? So what does she do? She points to Isa alayhi salam. فَأَشَارَتْ إِلَيْهِ قَالُوا كَيْفَ نُكَلِّمُ مَنْ كَانَ فِي الْمَهْدِ صَبِيَّةً so she pointed to the baby. They exclaimed, how can we talk to someone who is an infant in the cradle? If you remember at the beginning, we asked, who is Isa? May peace and blessings be upon him. What was his mission and purpose? People can have opinions about who Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him, was. Here are, he is in his words as confirmed in the Quran. Isa alayhi salam says, and remember, he is an infant, a newborn baby. He says, Qala inni abdullah. Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him, declared, I am truly a servant of Allah. Atani al kitab, waja'alani nabiya. He has destined me to be given scripture and to be made a prophet. Prophet Isa salam is telling us that he is a human being, he is a servant of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and he is going to re receive divine scripture and he is going to be made a prophet. And he said he will make me a blessing wherever I go. And he bid me to establish prayer and to give charity for as long as I live. وَبَرَّمْ بِوَالِدَتِي وَلَمْ يَجْعَلْنِي جَبَّارًا شَقِيًّا And to be kind to my mother. And he has not made me arrogant or defiant. Here Isa salam mentions a few things. He mentions that he is the servant of Allah. He will be given a book. He will be made a prophet. He is blessed and he has been commanded to establish prayer and charity and to be kind to his mother and never be arrogant. Allah says, that is Jesus, son of Mary, and this is a word of truth about which they dispute. So what was the essence of his message? Isa salam says, وَإِنَّ اللَّهَ رَبِّي وَرَبُّكُمْ فَاعْبُدُوهُ هَذَا صِرَاتٌ مُسْتَقِيمٌ Jesus declared, surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord, so worship Him alone. This is the straight path. And this leads us to a crucial question. Who claims Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him? Who does he belong to? The Muslims, the Christians, the Jews? He belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. All matter, everything in creation fully belongs to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In the Quran, Allah says, It is we who will succeed the earth and whoever is on it. And to us, they will all be returned. So what is our creed as believers in relation to Isa alayhi salam and other prophets? May peace and blessings be upon all of them. Part of the six pillars of faith, it is to believe in all the messengers and the prophets sent by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the ayah, آمَنَ الرَّسُولُ بِمَا أُنزِلَ إِلَيْهِ مِنْ رَبِّهِ وَالْمُؤْمِنُونَ كُلٌّ آمَنَ بِاللَّهِ وَمَلَائِكَتِهِ وَكُتُبِهِ وَرُسُلِهِ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala tells us, the messenger firmly believes in what has been revealed to him from his Lord, and so do the believers. They all believe in Allah, his angels, his books, and his messengers. All of them. They proclaim, we make no distinction between any of his messengers, and they say, Samirna wa atarna, we hear and we obey. We seek your forgiveness, our Lord, and to you alone is our final return. As stated above, we must believe in all the prophets of Allah without making any distinction. 
The importance of Isa salam is further confirmed in the hadith of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam Man shahida an la ilaha illallahu wahdahu la sharika lah wa anna muhammadin abduhu wa rasooluh wa anna Isa ibn wa anna Isa abdullahi wa rasooluh wa kalimatuhu alqaha ila maryam wa ruhim min wa anna al jannata haqq wa al naru haqq adkhalahu allahu al jannah ala ma kana min al amal Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa said, He who bears witness that there is no true God except Allah alone having no partners with him and bears witness that Muhammad is his slave and his messenger and bears witness that Isa may peace and blessings be upon him is his slave and messenger and bears witness that paradise is true and hell is true. Allah will make him enter paradise accepting whatever deeds he has accomplished. I wanted to discuss what the relationship between our Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam and Isa Alayhi Salam is, and with that I will conclude my khutbah. The Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, I am most close to Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him, son of Maryam, among the whole of mankind in this worldly life and in the next life. They said, how is that so, O Messenger of Allah? The companions asked. Thereupon he said, prophets are brothers in faith, having different mother mothers. Their religion, however, is one, and there is no apostle, there is no messenger or prophet between Isa and I. But the greatest similarity between the Prophet ﷺ and Prophet Isa السلام, is that they called people to the oneness of Allah and both Prophets suffered persecution for their faith. In conclusion, what do we take away from what we just heard about our beloved Prophet Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him. We, as, we see a man who invited to faith, to prayer, to charity, to justice, and to mercy. We honor him, we learn about his life, we read his story, we love him as Allah has asked us to love him. And I conclude with the statement of Isa, may peace and blessings be upon him about the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Wa inna Allah rabbi wa rabbukum fa'abuduh, hadha siratum mustaqeem. Surely Allah is my Lord and your Lord. So worship him alone. This is the straight path. أقول قولي هذا وأستغفر الله لي ولكم ولسائر المسلمين فاستغفروه إنه هو الغفور الرحيم. Anything correct is from Allah and His Messenger, and any misunderstanding is from my weakness. جزاكم الله خيرا. الحمد لله الحمد لله نحمده ونستعينه ونستغفره ونؤمن به ونتوكل عليه ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلل فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ومولانا محمد عبده ورسوله قال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله حق تقاته ولا تم إلا وأنتم مسلمون وقال الله تبارك وتعالى في كتابه الكريم يا أيها الذين آمنوا اتقوا الله وقولوا قولا سديدا يصلح لكم أعمالكم ويغفر لكم ذنوبكم ومن يطع الله ورسوله فقد فاز فوزا عظيما وقال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم إنما الأعمال بالنيات وقال الله تبارك وتعالى إن الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا أيها أيها الذين آمنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد عبدك ورسولك وصل على المؤمنين والمؤمنات والمسلمين والمسلمات وبارك على محمد وأزواجه وذريته قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم أرحم أمتي بأمتي أبو بكر وأشدهم في أمر الله عمر وأصدقهم حياء عثمان وأقضاهم علي وفاطمة سيدة نساء أهل الجنة والحسن والحسين سيدا شباب أهل الجنة وهمزة وسد الله وأسد رسوله رضوان الله تعالى عليهم مجمعين اللهم اغفر للعباس وولده مغفرة ظاهرة وباطلة لا تغادر ذنبا 
Allah, Allah, fi ashabi, la tattakhidhuhum gharadan min ba'di, fa man ahabbahum fa bi hubbi ahabbahum, wa man abaghadhahum fa bi bughdi abaghadhahum, wa khayru ummati qarni thumma alladhina yalunahum thumma alladhina yalunahum. Allahumma a'iz al-Islam wa al-Muslimin, Allahumma aghfir ummata Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma arham ummata Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma ansur ummata Muhammadin sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allahumma inna nas'aluka min khayri ma sa'alaka minhu nabiyuka wa habibuka Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, wa na'udhu bika min sharri ma sta'adaka minhu nabiyuka wa habibuka Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, anta al-musta'an wa alayka al-balaag wa la hawla wa la quwata illa billahi al-alihi al-azim, inna Allah ya'mur bil'adl wa al-ihsan wa ita'i dhi al-qurba wa yanha an al-fahsha والمنكر والبغي يعيذكم لعلكم تذكرون فاذكروني أذكركم مشكروني ولا تكفرون أقيم الصلاة